welcome back to Audio Ambition. I'm your host, Frank, and today we're going to talk about an important term in the world of audio, speaker RMS. If you're a music lover or audio enthusiast, understanding RMS is crucial in choosing the right speakers for your audio setup. So let's dive in. When it comes to speakers, you might have seen the term RMS mentioned in product specifications or heard it being used in audio conversations. But what exactly does it mean? RMS stands for root mean square, and it's a measurement used to determine the power handling capabilities of a speaker. Think of RMS as the average power a speaker can handle over an extended period of time without distorting the sound. It's a way to measure the speaker's continuous power handling capability, which is important to know when matching speakers with amplifiers or receivers. Now, let's talk about the difference between RMS and peak power handling. While RMS represents the continuous power handling capability, peak power handling refers to the maximum power a speaker can handle for short bursts without causing damage. Peak power handling is often higher than RMS, but it's not a reliable measure of a speaker's performance in normal use. It's important to focus on RMS when choosing speakers for your audio setup. One of the reasons why RMS is crucial is that exceeding a speaker's RMS power rating can result in distortion which can negatively impact the audio quality. When a speaker is pushed beyond its RMS limit, it can cause the voice coil to overheat, leading to distortion and potentially damaging the speaker over time. To find out the RMS power handling of a speaker, you can usually refer to the specifications provided by the manufacturer. Look for the RMS power rating, which is often listed in watts, and make sure it matches the power output of your amplifier or receiver. Choosing a speaker with a RMS rating that matches or exceeds the power output of your amplifier can help ensure that your speakers perform optimally and deliver clear and distortion-free audio. When selecting speakers based on RMS, consider the type of audio you'll be listening to, the size of your room, and your listening preferences. If you're into bass heavy music or like to play audio at high volumes, look for speakers with a higher RMS power handling. For smaller rooms or casual listening, speakers with lower RMS ratings may suffice. Remember, it's always best to match the RMS power handling of your speakers with the power output of your amplifier for optimal performance. And there you have it, a comprehensive overview of speaker RMS. It's an essential specification to consider when choosing speakers for your audio setup. I hope this information helps you make informed decisions when it comes to your audio gear. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Audio Ambition for more audio related content. Until next time, happy listening.